Hey everyone, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm back from vacation, and yes, we're doing more videos, so sorry I was on hiatus there for a little bit. Um, I usually have some videos lined up, and I was just lazy and didn't do it this time. So I um, had a little break there from YouTube, and um, but we're back, and today we're talking about the store. Um, it's been really fun having this store, I have to admit, and it's been working out really well too. Uh, I haven't been spending a ton of time there. We've been working on different things and trying to make things better, but it's been pretty much running itself. And maybe I got extremely lucky with the people who are working there, our staff and the manager and everything. But um, so far, so good. And our sales keep going up and there's still so much more we can do at the store as well. So we're gonna talk about that, show you what it looks like right now with lots more inventory. We keep improving that as well. And if you didn't know, yes, I bought a liquor store a mini mart oh, about two months ago now and we shut down for a little bit did some remodeling opened back up and it's just been a really fun and neat experience for me and we'll also show you the sales from the daily sales as well to show you how those have improved over time now of course we love the likes comments shares keep those coming we love seeing new subscribers we have a lot of really cool videos coming up here um, a new flip i bought this is a very interesting house we'll show you soon um, some other flip drama from a tenant who you may remember from before I left. Um, there's still some things going on there. We have some other tenant drama from a tenant we just placed and we're not sure how that's going to work out. So we have a lot of neat, interesting, dramatic stuff happening. So make sure you tune in. All right. So we will go check out the store right now. I've got video of the interior and kind of talk about what we're doing and then show you the sales here at the end as well. So you can see those too. Here we have the store and what it looks like now. It has a lot of improvements. So um, I just want to kind of take a peek at the inventory. Uh, we have so many vendors we have to work with. That's one thing that we didn't really realize is just how many there are. There's Frito-Lay, there's our um, Cashway. Oh, we got some Hot Wheels. I bought those from Target or no, from the grocery store and then ordered some on Amazon too. So <laughs> I had to have some fun stuff in the store as well. Um, we have Frito-Lay. We have our main food distributor. Um, we have Pepsi. We have Coke. We have Red Bull. We have a little Debbie. We have the Ice Guy. We have um, all kinds of things. I I'm, know I'm, I'm forgetting some other people there. And that's not even on the liquor store side. So we also have, you know two beer vendors, um, two hard alcohol vendors, and then um, some other people as well. Though there's an ATM, there's all kinds of things going on. So thank goodness I have a manager who can help with all of that. But you can see our inventory is pretty stocked. We have lots of things going on, but we still have so many things we can improve upon. So what happened was our main vendor came through and tagged all the prices on the shelves, as you can see there, added tons of inventory. These were almost bare when we first bought the store, but that came with some problems too. And then our system we're using, our POS system, which is what keeps track of all the inventory, the pricing, sells stuff, sends us reports, is a QuickBooks POS, which is not online. It's only in the store. It's very frustrating to use. And so what we found is that's 529, that's 189. <laughs> the prices in the system don't match the prices from the vendor. So um, we have to go through and redo most of this and we're all kind of dreading doing that, but obviously it needs to be done. And the reason that happened was the vendor came through and put their margins on items. You can see 169 there, 299 there. And so some of these we might actually be losing some money on um, because they're old prices in the system that were never updated for years. And then um, the staff came through. I bought a price tagger. There were no prices on anything when I bought this store. Came through and tagged prices based on what was in the system. And then as you can see, the system is much different from what is on the shelves. And so I think the vendor pretty much did about a 40 to 50% margin on most items. And yeah, if we're selling something for $1.87 and the vendor's price is five something, there's a good chance we're not making money on that item. So um, we have the Clover system, we bought a new POS system, but um, I bought an extra inventory scanner. It wasn't working right, bought another one, it wasn't working right. So um, we don't wanna have to, with Clover, it doesn't have an inventory scanner where you can walk around the store and scan everything. 
And um, we really want to get one of those. And the two we've gotten have not worked right. We've had to send them back because we don't want to take everything off the shelves and bring it to the Clover to uh, scan things. So um, I have been able to try and upload all of our inventory from QuickBooks into Clover, but then all our pricing is wrong and we don't know exactly how much quantities are correct, all of that. Here's the back area. Um, again, this, we may use this room for something else eventually. We'll see. My plans keep changing over and over again. <laughs> as new um, businesses and adventures come into my life. I was thinking about making this a possible laundromat at one time. Um, I also had um, someone who runs a coffee store in another town approach me about running a coffee shop in here somewhere. So right now this is all storage, but we have plenty of room in the building and we could definitely use this spot for something else. It has a couple exterior walls there. We could add windows or doors too, but it's so much more organized, so much more inventory now. So nice to have all of that. And we've had so many people come in and um, say the store looks great. It looks, you know, it's so much more stock. They're so happy to see it. So that's been really cool as well. Um, lottery's all set up. Uh, it's kind of funny too, because in my um, strip mall I own. I have the 68,000 square foot strip mall where my office is. We also have a grocery store there and that is our security system. And you can see me in the top left. <laughs> um, we have that grocery store and it's actually a discount grocery store. It's a cost plus 10%. So basically they sell everything they have at their cost, add 10% to it. We can buy things there cheaper than Sam's or Costco, like other wholesale places sometimes. And so we can buy fruit, we can buy different things, bring it to the store and sell it there to mark up. And since it's in my building, if we're heading up there, sometimes we'll just go to the store, see what deals they have, pick some stuff up and then head to this store. So it's pretty cool. So you can see we have lots more um, liquor selections, alcohol. We're still trying to um, increase our inventory here, get some more choices. Uh, you really, you know, opens your eyes how expensive some of this is for even the liquor stores to buy. Um, the margins aren't huge. They're okay. Again, 30 to 40% of most of it, but some of it is much smaller. Tobacco margins are almost nothing. Make almost nothing on tobacco, make almost nothing on lottery, but those bring people in. And then we have our back room, which let's see here. There we go. <laughs> is uh, fully stocked with more beer. Um, beer is definitely a huge seller and um, we've had some really big sales days lately as spring came around because there were some like softball tournaments and different things going on. Uh, we also have the idea to maybe bring some frozen popsicles in, um, alcohol, different things. We have a freezer we can use and yeah, sorry for the flashing lights on this video. Maybe I'll try and edit that a little bit here. Uh, lots of shooters. Those are always very popular too and um, so much more choices in inventory. And we're thinking about adding some, maybe some more high end choices and maybe, you know, more cigars. We'll see. There's all kinds of things we can do, but even without doing a bunch of stuff and having it all working right, the sales have been doing great, which we'll show you here in just a second. Here are the daily sales. I made my cool chart again, and you can find this on my TikTok and Instagram too, if you guys don't follow us there. But the first day is horrible. We had to shut down. The POS system broke. And since then, things have just been going up and better and better and better. So you can see we had our first $2,000 days and we had a $2,500 day. Then we had our first $3,000 day, but that's like a $1,200 lottery sale. So we don't make a lot on that. All right, so that's our update on the store. Um, it's going, been going great. Um, we have so many different ideas. I was there yesterday. Um, Nikki's been helping a ton with it as well and just writing down different ideas on how to improve things. Um, add more inventory, make it smell better. Not that it smells bad now, but you know, going to Disneyland, they fill everything with smells to make you want to eat and buy things. And that's an, you know, something we could add there. Um, eventually we might add some hot food, some prepared food. We have to up our, update our um, food license to do that, but it, it shouldn't be too difficult to do that. So, so many things there. And then, but really the main priority right now is getting Clover running getting all of our costs entered correctly, getting all of our prices correct, entered correctly. So I know what the exact profit is because I have my sales numbers and I have an estimate of what my profit is, but I don't know for sure what they are <laughs> because we can estimate, Hey, 
there's a 40% margin. Our daily costs are this. You know, I kind of estimated my break even point was $1,200 in sales a day. So if we're doing 2,500, that's great. That means we're making money. Um, but I don't know how much money. And if we're losing money on items, that's not good either. I need to make sure I have all that dialed in. So it's running. I'm pretty sure we're making money, but here in the next week or two, hopefully we can get all our inventory sorted, all that done and know for sure exactly what we're making, which would be so nice because then we can add things, see what things, you know, adding things does to change things, see if changing prices, you know, can change that. And that's something I really love to do. So that's the store. We have another exciting business venture being bought tomorrow. So <laughs> lots of information coming up on that too. And that's an interesting one that I kind of talked about a little bit last week with a new bar. Um, so I have lots of information on that. We'll show it as well. And so be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Love the likes, love the comments, love the shares, keep those coming. We'll be back with much more coming up soon.